we have the Super Start Power Pack and it comes in a couple models. This is the 55001 for 600 peak amps, recommended for four cylinder vehicles and they also have a model 55002 or three for a thousand peak amps, recommended for six to eight cylinder vehicles. The device is nice and tight, nice and compact, has a handle from the front it has a 12 volt output, a DC charger, a flashlight, a little USB port for charging, the on and off switch, and then back up it has here, it has a battery test button, and mine lights all the way up to the green, meaning it's fully charged. Mine actually came fully charged. I did let it charge overnight just in case. So you're supposed to recharge it whenever you've used it or like once a month just to make sure it stays charged and to charge it on the back you just plug in an extension cord and very nice the clamps they have their own little post that they connect on so you can use it to jump start your car charge your laptop or your phone and so forth. Now of course there's lots of safety issues. You want to make sure the clamps never touch each other especially when the device is on. Make sure you're not using it with in the presence of flames, extreme heat and so forth. Always disconnect the black cable first. So to charge your car you're going to connect the red clamp to your batter battery um, positive post and the black clamp to the negative post or to an unpainted portion of the metal frame of your car. Then turn the battery pack on, let it sit a minute to charge your battery. Try starting your car. Once your car starts, turn the battery pack off and then disconnect the black cable first, then the red. And just store it away until next time. So I hope this is helpful. I got this because of the extreme Texas heat. This seems to eat batteries and it's no fun being stranded waiting for someone to um, help you out. Thank you. Hope this is helpful.